Cappies! Welcome to your weekly love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from today, August 14th to August 21st. For those who are new to my channel, I do not do personal readings. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, but there are plenty of readers who do here on YouTube. Please check them out. I do subscribe to quite a few of them, okay? Awesome, awesome readers out there. Uh, keep in mind, guys, I no longer do my pre-shuffle session, but I do go over my meditative session. Then I go ahead and get into the reading. If you have any questions, curiosities, or confusions on how to interpret tarot readings as a viewer please check out the link below or if you're not sure what signs to watch please check out the link below okay capricorns by the way feel very compelled to pull alice in wonderland for you guys i usually don't use this one very much especially not as a primary but i felt compelled to pull it for you i feel like you're in a lot of fun energy right now capricorns um <clears throat> And keep in mind, whatever energy I pick up on in the meditative session is energy in and around you. So energy that is coming from you directly or energy that is purely around people that you are connected to, okay? So keep that in mind. So Capricorns, like I said, feel on the fun energy, feel on the fun vibes. You're really focused on just enjoying your, yourself right now. And I feel like a lot of you are going out more, socializing more. Um, I did get a lot of autumn, like, visuals. They were showing me, like, the changing of the leaves and... And, oh god I, by the way i love fall total confession it's my favorite season of all time not like i'm you know bias born in october or anything <laughs> um but it was really pretty what they were showing me and it is harvest time at least with that energy that i was picking up on so capricorns while you're having fun you are in a state of thinking about um your harvest like the seeds you planted your rewards the things you've worked hard for what you need to harvest how you can harvest it and i did hear choices after they showed me that, I did hear choices. So you've got some decisions to make, Capricorn. After the seeds you've sown, things have blossomed, things have grown. How do I go about this? What's my strategy? Just saw a possum. <laughs> they just showed me a possum. I don't know the meaning behind a possum. I'm going to say strategy because it came in right as I said that. Strategy. Strategy. Okay? Capricorn strategy. Um and going about how you want to enjoy your harvest. Now, I was also picking up on an energy and I, I I was really surprised how specific this was, okay? So keep in mind, Capricorns, this energy I'm picking up on can be coming from you or it can be coming from someone you're connected to, okay? There is this energy where there's someone surrounded by the opposite sex a lot, whether that's part of your work or you just have a lot of friends of the opposite sex and your partner or someone that is connected to you, pining after you, does not like that. They don't like that. They don't like it. Okay, it feels a little jealous. Feels a little bit like a jealous energy, Capricorn. Okay. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, it's work, to be honest. I feel like a lot of you, you just have a, a lot of people at work that you spend time with, or you have to work with a lot of people who are of the opposite sex. And if you have a lot of friends of the opposite sex, you got a lot of friends of the opposite sex. I feel like a few of you might be dating might be dating a lot and so maybe someone that is pining after you is not cool with that but i really feel like it's more platonic professional relationships like being around the opposite sex but either way your partner or again it could be vice versa you could be seeing this and your partner or someone you're pining after not being cool with that shit um because <laughs> yeah i'm getting a very kind of like envious jealous this shit ain't cool kind of energy Capricorn so just keep that in mind if you are the one who's around either either or however that energy resonates with you just keep that in mind okay uh, so let's go ahead and get into the reading here any messages for Capricorns any messages for Capricorns I'm hearing play <laughs> I like that I'm hearing play yeah Capricorns if you guys are enjoying yourself right now I'm getting this like giddy almost childlike kind of fun and laughter I think a lot of you have worked really freaking hard this year and you just are enjoying a little bit of that break or a little bit of an in-between or just enjoying that time before you start to harvest or before you start to go into your next phase of whatever it is you, you uh, usually work on okay or usually focus on yeah any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now to August 21st any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now to August 21st? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now to August 21st? Sorry, I'm getting a download. <laughs> I was like, oh God, I gotta stop. I'm getting a download. This is definitely about a masculine energy. So they could be male or female, but it's about a masculine 
energy and it is in this fun energy but what i'm actually getting and this is not only be for like a few of you i don't think this is for the major collective i think it's only for a few of you where it's like i'll enjoy my time now like very bachelor kind of energy again they could be females a bachelorette like i'll play i'll enjoy my time now because i've got some time like almost like i've got some time before i want to go in like to a serious relationship that's kind of how it feels like this is my time to play I want to be with that person. I will be with that person. But this is my time to play. I think that kind of thinking is going to backfire. Okay, so just be mindful of any masculine energies who are watching that. Or who are watching that. Who are watching this. <laughs> any messages for Capricorn? Regarding love from now until August 21st. The best don't wait. Sorry for that little group I just picked up on. The best don't wait around. Any messages for Capricorn regarding love from now to August 21st? Ooh, okay, we got three of wands, Aries energy. It's funny, I was like, the best don't wait around. This is a waiting energy, right? <laughs> waiting for the ships to come in, waiting for the stuff to happen, that anticipation before the harvest. Like I said, Cappies, a lot of you are just taking a pause because you know you're about to harvest or you know something's coming in for you in that harvesty kind of energy and you want to enjoy yourself right now that's definitely the energy that some of you are in oh i'm also getting more of that like getting more of the energy from the um the opposite sex gang <laughs> i don't know what else to call that uh also someone feels really on the outside oh this is kind of that shitty i uh, can think of the word yeah someone feels a little distant from your okay capricorns Someone feels a little distant from you because you're surrounded by people of the opposite sex, but it almost feels like they can't get close for whatever reason or another. Like it's almost, it almost feels like they've been placed on the outside. They've been placed on the outside and they're really not liking it. They're really not liking it. It almost feels a little bit like a timeout. It feels a little bit like a timeout. I'm also picking up that, that masculine energy I was picking up on where it's like, I've got time. I've got time to play. I know that relationship or that person will be there. I know that that relationship or thing is coming. I got time to play. I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Let's see. Wow. Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. Could also be past life or soulmate. Past life, karmic or soulmate energy for me as a reader. And then temperance, Sagittarian energy. Ooh. Okay. This is interesting. So temperance is usually my fix it angel. Uh, or divine intervention it's healing it's healing it's balancing out very upsetting emotions very upsetting emotions like i said i was picking up on the energy where it's like someone's watching you capricorn if it's vice versa it's vice versa someone's watching you around the opposite sex whether that's just for work or friends or you are actually dating i feel like those who are dating that's not too many of you um and it's really upsetting them it's really upsetting them but I feel a little bit of divine intervention coming in here to try to heal that, to try to soothe, soothe those emotions. Let's see here. Any other messages for Capricorns regarding love from now to August 21st? Any messages for Capricorns regarding love from now to August 21st? Wow, we just got one other card, guys. Oh, and it's the Ace of Wands. <laughs> It is the Ace of Wands. Yeah, a lot of passion here. A lot of desire. Desire. Hold on, let me get some water, guys. My throat all of a sudden got a little dry. Mm. Mm. Yeah, desire. Oh, man. Desire. Yeah, Capricorns, whether it's like someone pining after you, wanting you, or your own partner, watching around the opposite sex, like I said, it's very upsetting to them. It's very upsetting. They feel like they've been pushed out. They feel like they've been pushed out. Even if you're not around the opposite sex a lot, they think you are. They think you are. Um, but, you know, this little divine intervention, this little bit of healing energy coming in, I think is really good for them because it's calming them down. It's calming them down, but it, it's not putting out their desire for you, their desire for the situation, their desire to have you. But this is someone I, I definitely feel like has got a little bit of a jealousy thing kind of going on here. Um, and others, Cap other Capricorns, like I said, the energy of enjoying your time before the next harvest. Yeah, enjoying your time before the next harvest, before you get up and go again. 
<laughs> before you get up and go to the next thing that you've got a lot of passion for to work on or to do or to get busy with. Um, definitely <laughs> get busy with. I don't know why that's like, get busy. I like, I don't know why that's coming to me a little sexual. It feels a little sexual. It feels sexual. Um, anyway, Capricorns, you are in an in-between place right now. Okay, you're in a little bit of a transit place, but it's a good place to be because a lot of you are enjoying it and you're taking it as like a little bit of a break, a little bit of a timeout. Just keep in mind that for some of you, there's someone pining after you or your own partner who feels a little pushed out and they're not happy about it. They're not happy about it. Overall energy, we do have judgment in reverse here. Oh, judgment in reverse. Focus. What? There we go. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. Underneath that, we got that seven of wands. Leo energy. E yeah, that energy of like them being unhappy about being pushed out or them being unhappy that you're around the opposite sex a lot. I'm getting that defensive, jealous energy, which is not the energy they should be harnessing. It's hard though. Cap, what's with this being pushed out? It feels almost like they're on timeout. That's kind of how this is feeling. Almost like it's like timeout energy. Capricorn, some of you are on the receiving end of this where you're the ones feeling pushed out. Yeah, where you're the ones feeling pushed out because someone's pushed you out. But there's either way, there's healing taking place. Either way, there's healing taking place. Let's break down these energies a little bit more. Because whatever's going on, Capricorn, for those where you're dealing with someone pining after you, there's got to be some resolution here soon, is what I'm getting, especially with Judgment in Reverse as the overall energy. There's got to be some rollover soon. Because it's just, it's just time. It's just time. A lot of this, like, time uh, energy has been coming up for people. So let's go ahead and break this down. Let's look at the Three of Wands and see what we get there. I'm going to use uh, Rider Weight to clarify. So I'm going to Three of Wands for Capricorn. Regarding love from now until August 21st. Talking about three of wands for Capricorn. Regarding love from now to August 21st. Talking about three of wands for Capricorn. Someone's got a lot of fear. Someone is like, has a mentality of expecting the worst. I don't think it's you, Cappies. The Cappies that are having fun, I don't think that's you. Tell me about Three of Wands. Tell me about Three of Wands for Capricorn. Regarding love from now until August. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Okay. Hold on. Card vomit. <laughs> Tell me about Three of Wands for Capricorn. All right. So we got two cards out here. Empress in reverse, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy with the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy. Could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, someone is not happy. <sighs> Someone's not happy here. Someone's really focused on the emotional part of this. Yeah, someone's really focused on the emotional part of this. Someone's really focused on the distance is also what I'm getting. And that's like preventing growth. It's preventing growth. yeah it's preventing forward movement it's preventing forward movement yeah cappies this distance between you and your partner whatever situation you're in whether you're in the situation of someone surrounded by the opposite sex a lot or someone's just off enjoying their life taking this little break before they go and dive into the next working phase or whatever it is they want to work on next again it's an energy of taking a break here um you and your partner could have just simply taken a break from each other but someone's having a good time some of you are having a good time, but there's distance here. There's distance between partners or people pining after each other. And it's it's leading to a lot of unhappiness. I got to be honest. It's leading to a lot of emotional stuff, a lot of emotional stuff. And it just feels like a stagnation. It feels like an unnecessary stagnation. Tell me more about the Three of Wands. Tell me more about the Three of Wands for Capricorn regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me more about the three. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. There it is. Emperor in reverse. Aries energy. Taurus energy. Divine masculine energy. Eight of swords. Gemini energy. Look at that. We have an emperor and an empress. Both are not happy. This emperor is trapped in, in fear and agitation. 
this empress is really focused on is really focused on themselves actually is what i'm getting they're focused on themselves and they're focused on the emotion here it's so interesting capricorn because there's distance between the two of you whether it's just emotional or physical i feel like it's actually physical to be honest i don't think you two are really talking here this can be an active partner or someone that's pining after you or someone you're pining after and in this mode of distance some are having fun some are enjoying life some are being really social some are also even playing the field like i'm just calling it like i see it calling it like i feel it but both of you are thinking about each other regardless of what you two are doing in this distance whether you needed a break needed some fun enjoying your in-between of your working periods maybe you're a student maybe you know just enjoying the last bit of summer before you go back to school there's separation here between these two and these two are definitely a true pair but this emperor this masculine energy is really unhappy really unhappy they they're they're like they're in the headspace the emperor's in the headspace about this like mentally tortured while this feminine energy it's like emotionally they're missing they're missing closeness they're not happy with the distance yeah wow overall energy for the three of wands we do have the six of pentacles um oh excuse me taurian energy taurian energy wanting to close that gap of distance yeah very yeah wanting to close that gap of distance let me hold all these cards up if i could if I can. I've got tiny hands. Hold on. Yeah, wanting to close this distance up. Wanting to come together, wanting to balance shit out. But why is there resistance here? I mean, like, I, I know some of you are having fun, and I get it. You know, do you? Do you, boo? I get it. Do you? But why is there distance in the first place? This distance feels long. Like, prolonged sorry time wise time wise it's almost like an energy of you know like when you have a fight with someone and it kind of goes off the rails or you just stop talking and it's like a lot of time passes and you're like why were we fighting it's like it's almost an energy like that like for some of you you can't even remember you can't even remember why the distance in the first place because it's either gone off the rails so much, like argumentatively, argumentatively, is that a word? You know what I'm trying to say. Um, or there's just been so much time that's passed. It's like, wait, why are we distant? Why are we distant if we're thinking about each other? And both of you are in reverse, which means you both have been stagnated. You both have been stagnated by this. Interesting. I think we're going to find the answer in the Six of Cups. Let's look at the Six of Cups in reverse. And then we'll go ahead and look at this Ace of Wands. Uh, at least he's gilded. Let's use the gilded. Can I go six of cups in reverse? Yeah, I almost feel like this emperor's doing a hell of a lot of thinking. Sorry, they're bringing me back here. This emperor's doing a hell of a lot of overthinking. For my empresses, whether you're around a lot of other emperors or not, they think you are. It's like they're running amok in their head. Oh, I bet they're going on this many dates. Oh, I bet they're going out here. Oh, I bet... Sorry, I was like, I thought I felt a vibration. It's like, mm, Sorry um I bet they're doing this I bet they're talking to this people I bet they have so many guys or girls talking about this hitting on them here they're going there a lot of overthinking a lot of overthinking while well, this empress it's almost like this empress is getting stuck in her emotions or his you know a male could be an empress but it's just feminine energy and masculine energy yeah getting stuck in the emotions of it I miss them I wish I could hug them I care about them. Do they care about me? Like, it, you know, it's a lot of that. It's a lot of that. But there's been a, a long separation here. It, it's not days. It's like months or even years. Yeah, months or years. Anyway, let's look at the Six of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Yeah, I feel like this Empress is actually out more than the Emperor. Yeah, I feel like the Empress is out more than the Emperor. Tell me about Six of Cups in reverse. For Capricorn, regarding love from now until August 21st. Tell me about Six of Cups in reverse for Capricorn, regarding love from now to August 21st. I feel like this Emperor go sorry. I feel like this Empress goes out to distract herself from the emotions of it. Like, I need more fun. 
because I'm not because <laughs> I'm not having that much fun because of this distance, you know, that kind of energy. Like they don't want to think about it. They don't want to feel it. They don't want to think about it. They just want to have a good time. And it is part of moving on too. I, yeah, I feel like this Empress is, is actually e. You both are thinking about each other, but this Empress I think is getting close to moving on. Yes, yeah, Six of Cups in Reverse is uh, is clarified by the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Not a whole lot of love going on here in the past is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's like a, a history of inappropriate love. Whether that's attachment versus love or someone was holding back emo oh oh i just got the chills on that one someone was holding back emotionally here not expressing not expressing not expressing or at least if they expressed it it wasn't expressed appropriately but yeah i'm feeling strong with this empress it's like because this empress i feel like is on the move a lot on the move a lot out a lot i feel like this empress is getting closer and closer and closer to putting this behind her oh okay that's why I was getting that earlier. That's why I was getting that. Remember, I was picking up on that masculine energy where it's like, I've got time, I've got time. Mm -mm. No, no, no. This emperor is almost afraid to deal with this is also what I'm getting. They want to deal with it. They want to. They are thinking about this empress. The empress is thinking about the emperor, but the emperor is afraid. They're in the eight of swords energy. They're afraid. They're afraid to make a move. Tell me about six of cups in reverse. That's why they keep saying, telling themselves, I've got more time. I've got more time. I've got time. I've got time. I've got all the time in the world. No, no, you don't. Hangman just came out. Piscean energy. Yeah, it's almost like, oh. <laughs> so just in the sense of the word, not, not as an insult, in the sense of what the word is actually means, it's almost like emotional retardation, okay? And what I mean by that is stunt, like, stunted or held back they gave me the word retardation okay and i don't mean that in like the mental capacity guys i mean that in the actual definition of what a retardation is defined as okay it's like emotional retardation emotional health like being held back underdeveloped all of that it all encompasses that under that definition is what i'm getting with this actually and i feel like this is more the masculine energy who's thinking about this this is, yeah, this is a past behavior between the emperor and the empress. And this emperor, I feel like, is thinking a lot about this. But remember, it's being healed. It's being balanced out with this temperance energy, which is why they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it because they need to work through it to heal that stuff and to balance that stuff out. Tell me about Six of Cups in reverse for Capricorn. Let's see here. Wow. Wow. Ten of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy and Justice Libra energy. <sighs> That's why there's distance, man. There is an ending here. There was an ending, a separation, a betrayal. Either way, there was a hell of a lot of pain. Some painful shit was experienced between this emperor and empress. And justice is here because it needs to be made right. That's why we have temperance here as well. Look at that. Almost like mirror images. To balance this out. To balance out this pain. To balance out whatever happened. That's stemming from this emotional retardation from the past okay oh tell me about six of cups in reverse for capricorn tell me about six of cups in reverse for capricorn tell me about six of cups in reverse for capricorn regarding love from now until august 21st damn king of swords in reverse Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Not talking. Not talking. This emperor is afraid to talk about this. This emperor most definitely is afraid to talk about this. I'm also getting some past selfish behavior with this. I'm a, I can feel your guys' triggers about that word. It's just a word. And I mean it in the actual definition, not as an insult, not in the mental capacity. It's 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 just a word, okay? <laughs> it's an actual word with an actual definition and it does apply here according to my guides, okay? Emotional retardation. Whatever that was stepping from, it, it was, it, oh God, yeah, it just feels a little bit like it's rooted in ego. Feels like it's rooted in ego. I'm sure it was a coping mechanism for this person for quite a while, but they're so afraid to talk. They're so afraid to talk. I'm also getting like justice for that selfish behavior, justice for that cold, getting cold, justice for that cold behavior. 
action, cold action. Overall energy for the Six of Cups in reverse, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. This Empress, wow, look at this Empress. <laughs> Queen of Cups and Queen of, of Pentacles, man. That's a lot of nurturing energy. A lot of very maternal energy. This is the mother of the of the court cards, but this is Cancerian energy, which is mother and Empress mother. Very, very maternal energy, very maternal instinct as well. I feel like this emperor sees this empress as a co-parent, a possible co-parent. You guys could have kids together or it's just looking at this person like, that's the person I'm going to have children with. That's the person I'm going to have a family with. Very, very, very nurturing and very grounded. Usually, usually, thank you. Usually very grounded. This emperor loves this empress. But they're having to face some shit. They're having to face their old habits of emotional retardation. They're having to face some old egotistical ways, some selfish ways. But they're so afraid to talk about it. They're so afraid to talk about it. But Temperance is here to try to fix that. Temperance is here to try to intervene here a little bit, to try and get this emperor to, to face this, to face these issues, to face these issues. That's why all these cards are here. That's why the Six of Cups is here. That's why Temperance is here. That's why Justice is here, so that the emperor can face this stuff. Okay, keep in mind this could all be vice versa. Now let's look at the Ace of Wands. Let's end on a good note. Let's end on a really good note here, guys. Um, yeah, spellcasters. I was like, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. I couldn't decide which one I wanted. Okay, let's look at the Ace of Wands for Capricorn. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Capricorn regarding love from now to August 21st. So I is the ones for Capricorn regarding love from now to August 21st. Tell me about Ace of Wands. Tell me about Ace of Wands. Ooh. Wow. Queen of Swords in reverse. Libra energy could also be air or water with the Five of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy. With this Ace of Wands, with this desire comes hope comes hope this king is really hoping really hoping that um they can start something with this queen or come closer closer find that balance right find that balance and come closer with this queen energy they have a lot of hope for it but there's no talking guys there's absolutely no communication going on right now none whatsoever this king also feels like this queen's gonna be very defensive but that's why they have hope that's why they're hoping they're hoping they're hoping they're hoping Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Capricorn. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Capricorn regarding love from now to August 21st. Tell me about Ace of Wands for Capricorn regarding love. All right, let's see what we got here. We have three more cards. Sun in reverse, Leo energy. Two of Swords, Moon and Libra energy. And then we have the Empress again. Upright, though. I like seeing that. I like seeing that. Upright. Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy. I feel like this Empress is going to have a choice on her hands. Yeah, this Empress is focusing on happiness. But this Empress is, is I feel like, is going to be put in a place of indecision about it. I feel like this Empress is going to take a while to decide. But the King is holding out hope. The King is holding out hope, even though there's no communication going on, because it's what the King wants. Empress wants it too. Empress wants it too. But this Empress is being put in a hard place of what to do. And for my Emperors who are taking your time or keep telling yourself, I've got more time, I've got more time, I've got more time. This Empress is thinking about it going ahead. This Empress is on the verge of putting this situation behind her. And all, they're, they, all they need is one final decision to step into their sunlight. It's in reverse because they don't have it yet. They're one decision away from putting this behind them for those emperors who thinks that who think that they got a lot of time left. You don't. You really don't. Like, you do not. <laughs> you don't. Because this emperor's desire is about happiness. Do they miss you? Do they love you? Absolutely. But love doesn't mean sticking around forever. You know, that's not love. That's not love. This empress knows that. She's an empress. And she's upright here. She's upright here. So even though there's hope being held out on behalf of the king for this queen, 
who's also the empress. This empress is already in a mode of, hmm, I, I just really want to be happy. I really just want to be happy. And my emperor doesn't seem to be showing up. Hmm. I think I'm going to choose happiness. It's literally one step away, guys. It's one step away. Emperors, this is also the energy of you putting in their, putting them in that position to make a choice, to balance things out with you, to come closer together for those that decide to make that step. But I'm telling you guys, the window is very tiny at this point in time. At least, at least the energy that I'm picking up on. It is very tiny. Yeah, because overall energy for the Ace of Wands... We have two of wands in reverse, Aries energy, and then we've got the world. Yeah, guys, windows closing. A fixed energy, so Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, and chose Capricorn, and then we've got the fool. Aries energy, also Aquarius, because this is a Uranus card. Literally, this Empress is one decision away from putting this situ situation behind her forever. When the world comes out, it's not just a change. It's not just a new cycle. It's like putting an end to whatever the previous the, the previous situation is, like permanently, like no revisiting, no Lazarus, nothing like that. The death card is an ending too, and into a new cycle, but there's always a possibility for a Lazarus with the death card, not with the world. The world is permanence. It's long term. One decision away. And then with the full card there, that's a whole new risk. That's a whole new chapter into the unknown. Yeah, this Empress is really close, guys. This Empress is really close to putting this Emperor behind her. Because the Empress is focused on her happiness. Focus on her happiness. They're already, like I said, I was already feeling it. It's like they're kind of already out and about. <laughs> I know I don't want to know why I want to keep doing that. Maybe they're going to clubs. I don't know. But they're, <laughs> but they're already out and about a lot. And this Emperor is very stagnated in fear. Very stagnated in fear. Some of them are going out. Like I said, like, I've got time to play. I've got time to get my shit together. I've got time. I've got time. I've got time. One decision away, guys. One decision away. You could be part of that decision, emperors, but you got to step forward. You got to get out of the sphere. And you got to take that step forward to give that choice to the empress of like, yeah, you could go that way or you could come here. And I'm here, right? Showing up, presenting yourself reestablishes that option of, oh, you are here. Or I could go off into unknown into unknown, right? Into unknown, but it will be happy. It'll be happiness, right? Just not sure exactly what the happiness will look like, but the Empress knows that she's going to be happy regardless. And for the Empress that don't step in, it's just an option of, am I really going to choose to continue to sit here or am I going to go and take a risk towards happiness? It's not a hard choice. That's what I'm saying. That's why this window is closing. The opportunity is already here. I can already see the closure happening. It's just one, one decision one decision. Very close. All right, let's go ahead and look at the advice here. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Any advice for my Capricorns? Hi! Any advice for my Capricorns regarding this spread? Yeah, guys, this empress is going to choose to be happy. So it's either going to be an option of happiness or sitting my, on my ass and waiting around, which the empress does not do, <laughs> which is why it's going to be a very quick decision very soon. Or I can choose happiness elsewhere. Ooh, or my emperor's back. My emperor's showing up. My emperor is adulting up, maturing up, showing up, whatever you want to call it. I can choose my emperor or I can choose a risk of happiness that's a harder choice but when the choice is happiness or continuation of what i'm already doing which is not bringing the empress happiness that's not a hard choice right whoa oh <laughs> what did i just say stag spirit take the lead take the lead emperors take the lead uh, what does this break down to? 15, 14, 13, a four. This breaks down to a four. Stability and foundations. Very alpha, very masculine energy. Look at that. Just very like, doesn't that just scream like Aries energy? I guess it also screams Capricorn too because like the antlers, but it's just like taking the lead, taking that initiative to not be afraid anymore, to close the gap, taking the initiative to close the gap to make this happen. Emperor's balls are in your court. 
Empress is just in that mode of, of putting this behind her to get to ultimate happiness. Yeah. Any advice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any advice for my Capricorns? Any advice for my Capricorns regarding the spread? You guys got a lot of advice coming out here. You got four more cards. Any advice for my Capricorns regarding the spread? Okay. Now we have believe in yourself. <laughs> Squirrel spirit, 57, that breaks down to a three. Having the confidence to do whatever you got to do to reach your happiness, to reach your empress. For my emperors there who need a little bit more courage because there is fear there. There's fear of approach. There's definitely fear of approach. I also feel that for the empress to also have courage here, I actually feel like it's for both of you. Definitely feel like it's for both of you for choosing your happiness and not compromising on that. Thank you. And not compromising not compromising on your happiness. Emperors, if you step to this empress and it's just like a hi, hi do you want to like, I don't know, maybe talk tomorrow or whatever. If, if it's something like that, that's not going to work. That's not going to work with this empress. This empress is like, you're showing up full Monty or not. You're showing up 100% or you're not. This empress is at that point, emperors, they're not going to take very, they're not going to take little offers. <laughs> they're not going to take the little offers here. They've wait. They've waited. This empress, yeah, this empress energy I've tapped into. They've they've waited enough, is what I'm getting. They've waited enough, and they're on the verge of just going into their new and going into their happiness and putting this behind them. And they're not going to compromise because they know they can be happy. They know they can. For these empresses, some of them feel like it's more of a risk to try it again with you than it is to actually just go off in the full energy to the sun. So they're not going to take any small offers, guys. They're not going to compromise on this. So just keep that in mind. Then we have... Oh! Wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. 64 is a cyclical energy. We do got a cycle kind of coming in here. Uh, with the pig spirit, use your mind wisely. 47 breaking down to an 11. And the nightingale spirit. Love is all around. 41 breaking down to a five here. Change and transformation. So with this wasp spirit, I feel like this is just about the painful stagnation that's kind of occurred between the emperor and the empress. That has to end. That's what that's why this card is out here. This shit, this this stagnant cycle has got to end. It has to. It has to. And the empress is gonna make it happen if the emperor doesn't do anything. I'm gonna say that again. If the emperor doesn't do anything, the empress is gonna make it happen by choosing her son energy happiness because she knows she deserves to be happy okay now emperor you can choose to end this cycle by coming in and talking to the empress okay and then the empress will have a choice the empress already has a choice but you can be part of that choice is basically what i'm saying now we have pig spirit <laughs> and nightingale spirit you guys know a nightingale spirit for me as a reader is basically like you got a whole lot of love around you. There's a whole lot of support. I feel like this is for both of you. Definitely for both of you. More so the Empress, but definitely for both of you. There's a big reminder that there's a lot of love and support here. And it's also an indication for me as a reader that there's a very significant love interest involved in this. Of course there is. We got the Emperor and the Empress, right? Pig spirit is intuition. Intuition and being smart, using common sense, using intellect, going about something in the right way in the smart way so going about this love in the right way going about this love in an intuitive way here use your intuition here empresses and emperors it's yeah this is for both of you this is definitely for both of you both of you need this advice to really use your intuition and to be smart about this scenario empresses it's going to be being smart about your choice being smart about your decision because this is a general reading all right very general reading um, a reading for thousands of people. Everyone's in a different scenario here. If you feel like your emperor is not giving you 100%, if you feel like your emperor is not stepping up to the plate, then you know what decision you have to make. Because you got a, love, a lot of love for yourself, empress. You already know that. But for my emperors, it's about playing this the smart way and what does my empress really deserve? What does my empress really deserve? How can I show her that I want to give her what she deserves? Or he, because, you know, it's just feminine energy. Going about this in the smart way, the honest way, and also using intuition here. Also using your intuition with this. Empress says you're going to have to use your intuition more than the emperor. And for the emperor, it's pretty clear cut. But for the, for the empress, you're going to have to use your intuition for your choice. Okay? Overall, we, 
<laughs> Sorry, guys. Give me a minute. Mm. Mm. You're my last read of the day. <sighs> okay. Overall advice? Rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. 49 breaking down to a four. Another four here. Very strong foundation energy. Very strong stability energy. Emperor's. This is a very fortunate time. It's basically an indication that spirit is on your side. When we already knew that, where's temperance? There it is. We already knew that, right? Temperance, Sag energy, Jupiter energy. It's gone direct. We already knew this. Excuse me. Spirit is wants this to happen. Spirit wants to get this stuff balanced out here. Emperors, take that risk. Take that risk in approaching your empress. The more you stay trapped in fear, oh my God, that's so funny. I went to pick it up and I dropped the eight and it went up the reverse. The more you focus on getting out of this fear energy and realizing, you know what? If, you know what? Whatever's supposed to happen, whatever spirit wants for me, it's going to happen. So if I go out there and I try and it comes back to me and I get to get what I want, <coughs> then it was meant for me. I'm sorry, guys. <coughs> mm. then it was meant for me. Empresses, you're also in a very fortunate time. You're in a very abundant time. Capricorns in general coming into some abundance. We're already picking up on that with that harvest energy, right? Time to harvest this situation. The seeds have been sown here. <clears throat> time to harvest it for better or for worse because luck is on your side here for both of you, for both of you. Empresses, you're going to be happy no matter what. Because you're not going to accept anything less than happiness. The Semper is the one that has to take a risk towards you, okay? And then once that happens, yeah, then the ball is going to be in your court, Empresses, and you're going to decide on what's best for you. And at the end of the day, it's about your happiness and not compromising. And like I said, if this Emperor doesn't come at you 100%, you have your, you have your choice. You already know your choice. But like I said, guys, you're the masters of your own life. These are just opportunities. I am just the messenger. <clears throat> and these are general readings. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Ugh. my third chakra is not happy after this reading um so use your mind wisely with this use your intuition here decide what's best for you for your individual life okay all right guys i hope you enjoyed that don't forget to go on patreon check that out along with instagram facebook and twitter and i will see you guys later have a great night cappies namaste